I'm Tommy G. I'm here in the Bronx at the East Chester Gardens. Welcome to the drill music scene, baby. And we're here to explore drill music. Let's get it. Before we go to the Bronx, first we have to talk about Bush. George Bush? No, your Bush. Now me personally, I don't like my pants python looking like a naked mole rat. But at the same time, I can't let my crotch hair get out of control. Look, the Bush. So me, I go to Manscaped for help. They've just developed this performance package 4.0. What's that smell? That's the smell of my ball bag getting fresh. Ah. This is the Corvette crash cutting. And yes, YouTube, I am wearing a bathing suit. They even got nice soaps that make you smell like Brad Pitt. They even got a nose trimmer. You need to use this. This is the brand trusted by 8 million men around the world. Go to Manscaped today, get two free gifts, free international shipping, and use promo code TOMMYG for 20% off. Shah G's is a Bronx-based rapper causing a ruckus on the internet. He's an 18-year-old kid with a distinct voice and aggressive style. He's emerging as a major player in the world of drill music. Drill emerged from Chicago and has found another home in New York. Drill rappers are known for saying crazy and threatening bars. For example, Shah G's has a line that goes, Some of these words result in real-life violence. Today, we explore drill further and head to the East Chester Gardens to speak with Shah and his crew and get an inside look at his life. It's not every day you get to wake up and head to the project. I feel like so much of rap history comes from places like this. This group is absolutely popping. Like the moves they make. Here's a couple songs right now. So we're meeting some kids that could be the next New York legend. How you guys doing? Good to meet you, big dogs. Hello. My name's Shaw G from the Bronx. I'm a drill rapper. You know, we outside, like, other than that, you know, we get money. You guys are putting up crazy numbers. Is that blowing your mind how big you're getting, how quick it's going? Right, yeah, that's a fact. It's like, this shit, like, this shit happened overnight. This shit crazy, like. I be bugging, I be like, damn, man, I really did that shit. Where are we right now? Tell the people where we are. How many people live in this place? Uh, uh, probably like more than the whole city of Milwaukee live in this spot. <laughs> oh yeah, what's the lingo around here? Like if I want to try and blend in, uh, what words uh, do I gotta uh, know? Uh, simple shit. Um, simple yeah, shit? Yeah, simple shit for me. Like just basic shit? Yeah, basic shit. Right. Bye bye. What the hell is that? A thotty. Oh yeah, I've, I've met a couple of those in my day. I try and stay away though, you know yeah, what I mean? You guys, you guys ever bust out push-ups or pull-ups around here or what? Um, I feel like busting out a bunch of push-ups right now. Let me see something. What hand? What hand? Come on, Tommy. Big dogs gotta eat. Let's go. How old are you? 18. So you're young, and you probably have your DMs absolutely flooded. I mean, you're becoming yeah. a famous rapper. Yeah. What is that like? How do you navigate the floods of DMs and the women? I appreciate all my fans. Everybody know the vibes. Everybody know how I feel about them. All the haters can suck my dick. Though, yeah. Do you have any girlfriends? No. Are no. you trying to stay single for a while? I'm doing my little thing, getting money. Right now you're focused. Once you make it big, then you can think about women. Right. For all these men that's getting depressed about these females, bro, man. Bro. Fuck these bitches. Get man. some I'm money. Get some money, man. Get some money. Don't be depressed. A lot of people have come from the Bronx and make things happen. Were there people that you looked up to on the journey as you're coming up? Who did you look up to? I ain't really look up to nobody and shit, but like, for me, like, music wise and shit, like, yeah. new baby and shit, cheap key, little dirt. What does it mean to be a drill rapper? There's a lot that come with this shit, you know? Yeah, I just, just really go crazy in this shit, like, if you believe in yourself, go crazy, bro. Don't ever have doubts about yourself. That's how you're not gonna make it nowhere, bro. We were in the Diamond District before we came here, and when I told people we were coming here, they said, be careful, there's a war going on. Is that exaggerated, or what do you think about that? Good child, good child. We don't know what they're talking about. We don't right, condone no violence, no. Everything we say is just music. You have a line that made me laugh. It was something like, if I see him, I'm gonna kick his stroller. Oh, he with his kid, then I'm kicking his stroller. I'm gonna see somebody kicking his stroller. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna talk on that though. Is there any New York handshakes? Cause I was in Lauder Hill and they yeah, have some yeah, like yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, 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 yeah, yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. I feel like I have, to, I have to study for like three years to get that correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'd imagine you guys are pretty well known in the area. 
a fact. Bro. What is that like? Tell me about that. Cause they having a big family. Yeah, yeah that's a fact. We all big family. ass family. Are you guys thinking you'll stay in the Bronx long term? Are you guys gonna get fancy and go to LA? Or like, what's in the plans, guys? What's in the plans? Yeah, we should, okay. man, we, we, should go, we, go, we should take a trip overseas, man. Overseas, like, overseas hoes, feel me? You guys want to go overseas? overseas hoes. Yeah, man. Do you see yourself living in New York? Or do you ever want to move to another place? Definitely move to another place. Yeah, but right now, put me, I'm making New York living right now. So when like, you're putting up a, a few hundred thousand hits in like five days on a video, like you are making yeah. big waves, dude. No, no, no. I'm no. just be trying to keep my head on the bait track. Yeah. That's what I be trying to do. I mean, get shit done. Because no matter what the numbers are, the mission's always the same. It's work yeah. hard, record good right. shit, entertain people, keep making moves, right? right? So this is it. This is it. Uh, what does it mean to get started? Moving sex, so I steal my pivot. I could be dead on a journey minute. We up next. Fuck a visit, like I'm trying to move out the whole pack up and go home and start crying or what? The dance moves in Milwaukee is like this. It's like you do this. Shout out to the 414 certified Trevor. Y'all know the y'all know the vibes. Hey. Oh. Shout out to my guy certified Trevor, by the way. What do you envision happening in the next year or so? I'm gonna be mainstream. Drill music to me has a very intense energy to it. How would you describe it? This shit lit, man. It's the type of music that people go. You they start like, getting out shows. That shit going crazy. Man. The mosh pits at your show are gonna be crazy. Yeah, shit going sell out. So do you write your shit? You freestyle your shit, or a little bit of mix? I have the mix a little bit of mix. So like sometimes I'll be having days where I want to write. Sometimes I have days I want to freestyle. Sometimes I have days I want to write and freestyle. So when we go to the studio tonight, you're prepared with what you want to do, or are you just gonna off the spot kind of just go? I'm just off the spot, just kind of just go. Yeah. Or... Were you guys born or raised in the gardens? Right. If you had one meal left on earth, what would you eat? Popeye's chicken. Yeah? I love that chicken for Popeye's. <laughs> Popeye's, if you want to sponsor this guy, let's get it done. Is anything on the bucket list? Like, hey, when everything's said and done, I want to have done this. Like, is there anything on that list for you that really stands out? Rolling loud. Rolling loud? I see myself in rolling loud next year. Did, Did you play any sports? Crazy, you got bro. that tall frame. Yeah, I used to play ball. When you when you get a lot of money, what do you want to spend it on? Houses, investing shit for me. Get, get properties, get real myself, estate. Get all that, everything. The only way to true wealth is to own something. Fuck. What do you see yourself as a 40, 40 year old man doing? Millionaire. Do you see yourself with a family? Yeah. What I tell you? But I tell you, get some of that. Enjoy it. The people we talked to said that we were stupid for coming to the Bronx. I'm like, you know. No, what? absolutely not, man. Well, we have a good time. We live good here too. We went down for the barbecues, man. We don't want that tough name shit, man. We got love here, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we not even on that. We all That's all it is. Just don't bring it wrong. Does the NYPD not play? Because I've heard like others, some cities I go to, people, they feel like the police don't do shit. But around here, it feels like police oh, get after it. Right. Yeah, they got detectives. That's why. Do you have any stories from like uh, like on uncles or dads or anything that like experienced things really tough from the NYPD, but now that there's body cams, it's gotten better? I've seen shit like that. It's a little bit easier now, though. Before the niggas used to come around, they throw you in the truck. They take you like over there and they'll beat your ass and bring you back. That nah, nah. It's Earth Day coming up at 420. Are you you feel bad to the earth when you do that? Yeah. What if a bird chokes on that and dies? Then it happens. Will you go to the bird's funeral and like give it a flower? <laughs> what do your grandmas think about drill music? Whatever gets you right. Yeah. Does she ever listen to drill music, your grandma? No, nah, I don't when, when she's in her car cruising around, she's my grandmother like, crush me out. What does your grandma think about your music? She's not jacking up. Like, does she ever say, like, you need to tone it down? Yeah? Hell yeah. What do you say to her after that? It's over, bro. Why would I stop? So when you go to school, people know, like, I'm assuming everyone knows who you are, right? Mm hmm What's that like walking through the hallway? I don't go to school. You don't go to school? Mm -hmm. When did you decide to leave? Basically when your rap started blowing up? Yeah. Did you guys say you're happy? I see how maintaining you are. Do you think money buys you happiness? No. no. Nah, but the money can not buy you life. You can die. So we're taking the local advice, enjoying the local cuisine. You got chopped cheese here? Yeah. 
what brought you to this area? Shaji's. <laughs> you heard of him? <laughs> yes, I definitely heard of him. Uh, he's like my nephew. Mm -hmm. I grew up under his mom, you know, so I seen him come up. Yeah, what is it like to have a guy that lives right by you start to blow up? Contrary to popular belief, my area has put off a good significant amount of talented people. So he's one of the first major, definitely. But, you know, we've seen this type of thing before. Well, now, folks, it's time to eat some chopped cheese, baby. <laughs> have a good night. These fellas had a good recommendation. Now that we've fueled up, it's time to drive back into the city, hit the studio. I think it's going to be a little bit wild. Go with these see my old face. How my dress and get down like a lace when I'm fake on the beam and go pick up the pace. Like those run, he gon' get chased. Who number one? Bitches ain't shit. Yep. Nice to meet you, man. How you doing? Good to see you. Yeah. So it's been hectic these last couple months, but yeah. it's, it's, it's been nice, you know? What makes it hectic? It's always working, whether it's studio, video shoots, getting with new producers every week, all that type of stuff. It gets crazy. Is it amazing you to see the success of, like, he puts out a song and it gets a quarter million, half a million views just Insane. like that? It's great, especially the last two songs we put out, Papa Perry and this new one, Talk My Shit 4. We did 100K in 24 hours. It doesn't get better than that. Isn't that insane? Is there any New York link? that you've learned listening to the music of course what are some words that you can break down for us the number one's got to be cheeks you know cheeks. That's, that's shy's thing you know i heard Mike them saying that, that. Cheeks, 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 cheeks. they were saying it before yes yes what can you tell us about the music scene in new york right now what's got you excited uh it's, it's a lot of good up-and-comers bro it's probably the most live i've ever seen it yeah and then obviously we got the drill scene going crazy in new york so it's... are you recording the shot session i'm not doing a shot session okay now. drill music is what's taking yeah. the city by storm mm -hmm. What's your take on it? Anything that's gonna put New York back on the map is fire to me, bro. I come from when it, this was the epicenter of music. So if this is the beginning of kind of that coming back over here, then I'm with it, I'm for it. As far as like the negativity surrounding it, which I get, but I mean, when I was it's growing up, yeah, we huh? had the same type of shit. It wasn't, there was people who didn't like what we was dealing with when I was mm. listening to G-Unit and all of that, so. And when you were growing up, who did you look up to in the rap? That's what I'm saying. I have 50. It's not no different than that. So I still to this day don't believe there's a, a run that was as quick and huge. Like I've never seen something like that. How fast it came, it took over the world. Do you ever have to be careful booking a session with different drill rappers to yeah, make sure they don't. We gotta talk about yeah. yeah. We have to talk about the politics and shit. So you kind of have to do a little bit of homework before you book people. Have you ever had something go down here? Nah. Like, oh, we try to be smart about it. So this is obviously the lobby. This is where we kind of show off all the things that we do. And yeah, this is uh, the two to owner, studio, studio manager. They're actually business partners for- Wow, Pop Smoke. That's Kehlani, Joey Badass. So wait, Joey Badass may have pooped in the same toilet as I might poop in? Yes. That's pretty sweet. Yes. <laughs> So this is the master room, this is like the last step in the Where does the artist go? They don't, what usually do this is by themselves. So usually here, after you track, you're upstairs, you track, then an engineer comes, they mix the joint. And the master and part of the process is to sort of get it up to like industry standard as loud as it possibly can without it distorting. There's nothing like when you get that song just complete and you hear it in the studio, mm. it's probably the best place to hear it. That or the car. I'm hey. Tommy. Hey man, Alex. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Have you seen any of his videos? He's a wild child. I just looked through his Instagram like an hour ago. That's it. Okay. Look, shit sounds good. I feel like when he raps, it's like he's gonna just catapult through the door a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. How long does it take the average rapper to make a song? Would you say? It's different <laughs> for everyone. You know, some people be taking like three weeks. Some people just get a song done in like five minutes. Yeah. You know? It really could be. It's just yeah. There's no average. What's your guys' bet with Shaw? How how long do you think it's gonna take for me to make a song? Twenty. Yeah. Thirty minutes. <laughs> 20, 30 like minutes. 15. You think Because a lot of these songs are like a minute and a half. Yeah. yeah. Have you guys ever had something crazy go down in the studio before? We had Pop Smoke here. Yeah, that whole video, that classic video, Pop Smoke yeah. in the studio doing singing Dior. What was that like? I was here that night. That shit was crazy. Yeah, it must have been electric. Like, what do you see as the impact of drill music? It's more of a trend kind of thing. Like it's also like a quick way to get popping or like, you know, start your own thing, you know? Yeah. A lot of it just like people talking shit to each other, but, or do you feel like the kids take it very seriously that they actually want to like gun each other down? It's beef, but like, I don't think a lot of these people are really like that. What's up, man? How you been, man? How you doing? Like, so I hear today that we're recording more of like a love song, huh? Oh no, probably. How you guys doing? You know, we dangerous, living, living dangerous. Cheeks. 
Sweet cheeks. Sweet cheeks. Guess what I call my wife? I call her Sweet Cheeks. Cheeks. She's got them cheeks. <laughs> Do you guys love hitting the studio and just going crazy yeah. on the snack bar? What's your favorite candy bar of the bunch? The Snickers, you feel me? I'm gonna drop the craziest drill verse in history. How about that? Right. Let me hear that. Let me hear that. And that's it. It's gonna be like a six second release. Yeah. All right. I want a proposition. Shaw, I say a couple ad libs. I'll talk crazy shit. But let me hear what you what you's going with. You know what the f time it is, motherfuckers. <laughs> it shot G's in this motherfucker. Yeah. Watch out! Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna clap your cheeks. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take your grandma on a date if you don't f with this track. What's the vibe we're going for through today? Probably some Jersey Club shit. I don't know yet. I mean, we're gonna get in there and write some shit though. You think you're gonna make a love song today? Like a Netflix and chill type of a drill song? Oh, no, chill oh, type no. of drill song. Cool. We're excited. We're excited, man, to see you do your thing. How long does um, it usually take you to make a song? Like two hours. Okay. And does your voice ever go hoarse? Because you got. Yeah. 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 All the time. Who are your top five out of New York, though? Of all time. Yeah. 50 Cent's on that list. Immortal Technique is on that list. You guys know Immortal Technique? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He's a Harlem guy, like old school underground type shit. The fact two. that the nigga name is Immortal Technique? Nah. What? Yeah, Do you guys think Tupac's still alive? Nah, man. Nah. I think Michael Jackson's Jackson still alive. Still alive. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Yeah. That nigga alive. He in the trenches. Alive? Yo, yo, y'all seen that um oh. that rich nigga? He had the yeah, island. Um, you know what I'm talking Je about? Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, yeah. Michael Jackson probably over there. Do you feel like he killed Jeffrey. himself or do you feel like he got taken out? You talking about Jeffrey Dahmer? Like Jeffrey Epstein. Nah, yeah. Epstein. Yeah. yeah, but you guys got Epstein, so don't even. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. When he from Dahmer killed twelve people, your guy touched children. Yeah, yeah, that's. That's fact, worse, that's, that's worse, but... That's a fact. He was taking the good ones off the market, you heard? Mm. <laughs> Get them things out of here. Do you guys trust the government? Not at all. Joe uh, oh, Biden. You don't belong Suck here, bro. Dick. Robot. That nigga's a robot, bro. You think Biden's a robot? Yo, who the black nigga will be wildin' too? Like? <laughs> Yo, mayor. Boys, mayor. Oh, I see that. Big brother. Big brother. I ain't gonna lie, you bro, so I ain't gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. I fuck with you, bro. I told you. You a cool nigga, man. I appreciate it, guys. You know what I What about the trannies, though? Hell no! I wanna call the world doing that shit, bro. Yeah, this world like, is crazy. You know like, you up kids. God's plan? Yeah, like, if I'm you was born kids, with a dick, bro, nigga, kids, swing your bro. Niggas trying to switch it up and... Word, trying to have like yeah. five genders and shit. She's the best, dude. Bow, 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 bow. Things are blowing up, things are moving fast. What does it feel like? It feel amazing, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm happy for my brothers, bro. How long is it taking to blow up? It took like a year or two years to see this shit go up. What are you most excited for in the future? We all rich, living up, get a body or two, bro. You wanna That's leave it. New York? Yeah, well, we gonna leave this bitch. So the come up is a once in a lifetime journey. Like, what is it like that the crew is popping, shot Jesus popping, what does it feel like? I feel like we going up, bro. Is it exciting? Like, is it? Does it make you nervous? Like, how does it feel to have? It's, it's exciting. It don't make me nervous. I mean, it made me more alert. You know. Did you ever think in your life that you were gonna be part of a in the crew of a very successful rapper? I always knew he was gonna do something. You know I mean? Gangster since we was young. What's your advice to anyone that's coming up in the rap game? Believe in yourself, bro. Keep grinding, gangster. <laughs> So what we're witnessing, folks, is the art of creation. And what's crazy is some guys can take three minutes, other guys can take three months to make a song. But whether you're a sculptor, a painter, a rapper, we all have that little light inside our soul that says, create, be something, create something bigger than yourself. And who knows, when he puts this song out, maybe it changes a generation. You never know what's gonna happen with your creation until you launch it out to the world. And that's the fun of being an artist. <laughs> How do you feel when you're in the booth in the studio? For regular, like, oh, no. Is it crazy that what comes out of your mouth next could be the next hit? Right. Let's get it, dude. Let's get it. <laughs> All 
All right, folks, that's the episode. This was an inside look into the Bronx, drill music, and youngsters that are making it happen in New York. We'll see you guys next week. Cheers. Cheers.